I think there is great research also looking into the epidemiology of RBD and about the prevalences of RBD in different cohorts. So RBD is developing as first symptoms with isolated uh, symptomatology of vocalizations, motor behaviors during sleep, and then patients are going to sleep centers. And then research cohorts have been established to further look into the progress of the disease. And from big cohorts that's been uh, developed in Europe, but also in Canada, they can say that about 6.5% of patients with RBD may develop a neurodegenerative disease within one year. So after 10, 12 years, a majority of these patients in the IRBD cohorts may have developed uh, neurodegenerative syndrome. And this can also be <clears throat> looked at with neuroimaging data. So the localization and the changes in, in PET scan studies are very similar to those in early Parkinson's disease. In Europe, there is an increasing number of sites which are specialized both on sleep and neurodegenerative diseases that are doing research on the topic of RBD. And in some centers, they are doing research just uh, on, on imaging. These are centers like in, in Barcelona, in Marburg, but also in the, in the UK, in, in Oxford. And other centers are collecting data more on the pathophysiology and on sleep and polysomnographic characteristics of RBD, like Innsbruck, also we in Kassel, Bologna, Prague. So there is a nice network now coming out of this research center and they're doing research together. And I think it's important that we are really closely connected and doing huge research project and applying for European grants to get more information of this early stage and how Parkinson's disease and Parkinson's syndrome, synucleinopathies, will start at the very early stage in sleep.